So hi, welcome to the Good Noise Podcast. I'm Shane. I'm Glory. And we're here with Jake and Ben from Sporting. And we're gonna ask him some questions today about the new single Ordinary Love. I'm gonna start. So congrats on that, by the way, guys. How do you feel about the response to it so far? Thank you. Honestly, uh, we've been feeling really good. I um it's been honestly more received than we expected, so we can't really complain. Yeah, we've been it seems to be getting out there a lot. Like we've had some like uh, kind of like outlets share it and we've been able to land like you know certain like stuff like this like this interview for example that we haven't really had with other videos so it's definitely some nice pushes that's awesome I'm very um, happy to hear that. the single bangs and i do want to ask about the music video was the wiggles look <laughs> intentional um no I'd like so honestly the thing that was awful about that whole thing is like we literally like we're filming the video and we're like yo like what colors are the wiggles again <laughs> And then we looked and we're like, oh my God. And then like, I swear to God, there was no intent. Like it was kind of like our, um, our friend Connor, I think you guys know Connor Lenny, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So uh, he directed the whole video and came up with the concept. And like, we were trying to figure out like what colors to use. And he suggested like these colors. And like, we didn't think about it at all until like literally after it was already said and done kind of thing. But so we're trying, we're basically embracing it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a beautiful touch. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> it adds character. Honestly, this is the second time we're interviewing the Wiggles then. So Exactly. Oh, yeah. oh nice. Yeah. Second time? Second we time. We interviewed the Wiggles. We interviewed yeah. the Wiggles. <laughs> no way. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. In March. Mm -hmm. That's fucking crazy. I had yeah. no idea. Yeah. So mm -hmm. now you could say you've been on the same podcast as the Wiggles. Okay. Wow. wow. Yeah. People are Damn. really going to think that we're like big Wiggles fans we're, here. Yeah, <laughs> As you should Listen, be. I, I mean, have, we are. All yeah, they yeah, have to do. Not to be. <laughs> all they have to do is search up the podcast. It's the first thing you see on our YouTube channel. As it should be. <laughs> As it should be. Oh, awesome. Uh, so, is there any meaning behind the single name or cover art? any meaning um yeah so not really as much the cover art that's just uh we just wanted something that really um like related to the video like just kept the whole aesthetic but uh as far as the title yeah um ordinary love i guess is kind of just like it's really like weird it's so hard to describe i guess like the meaning of the song but it's like when you like you love someone a certain way but they like they still love you but they, they love you as like a friend you know mm -hmm. so it's kind of like uh just that's the ordinary love essentially okay. you know hmm. um but yeah i guess that's the i don't know i never really thought about it <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Make, making shit up on the spot it's all good exactly yeah uh so can you tell us a little bit about your writing process for this single yeah so this song um so ben and i used to be in another band uh like we broke up in like 2019 or we were a band called no recall and um so right towards the end of that is when i honestly wrote this song just like so three years ago we even oh. sit a little bit with that old band yeah and i remember when that old band broke up one of my thoughts was like oh man i really like that song <laughs> it's never <laughs> kind of day now yeah it, it was wild but so basically like a month after we were um played our last show i like went to the studio to just like record like to just kind of like feel like i was still doing something mm -hmm. and um so i record like i recorded that song with our producer chris uh paquette at no boundary studios uh he's been like a good friend of ours forever you know i've gone to him for basically everything but um yeah we just like him and i pumped out that song within a day like instrumentally i went back about six eight months later and finally decided to do vocals mm -hmm. um and uh yeah, we kind of sat on this song for a while and put out other songs in the meantime because we honestly just always felt like this this song deserved a music video. Yeah. And we just, like, because of COVID and everything, it was, like, that all just was impossible for a long time to, like, film. So finally seeing the light of day is, like, making us wicked, like, you know, we've never been this excited for a release for this band so far, you know, just because of everything that was into it. Yeah, fair enough. I think having a song sit, like, on the back burner for that long just makes mm -hmm. it feel like such a huge weight when it's finally out like yeah but like way too long yeah for sure, for sure. Uh, so i want you both to tell us your favorite lyric off of this track and the meaning behind it I know oh, yours is. <laughs> um, well mine that's so tough because like my favorite lyric there's a reason why it's my favorite lyric it's when he just when he says uh where'd you go 
or no, it's the, I know that, you know, it's yeah. that one. And it's just because I was in the studio with him and he, when he recorded vocals and like, you know, with vocals and like any recording process, you usually will have like multiple takes before you get it right. And mm-hmm. um, I'm sitting there and he's in the booth and like, he just like the way he said it, like, <laughs> I just like knew that was it. And, and our producer was just like, okay. <laughs> just <moved on. laughs> so it, it, there's some context behind it, but that's the reason why it's my favorite. Oh, that's yeah. solid. Um, honestly, I kind of want to say just the first like two like like the first verse like the first half of that I guess I just love singing it like it just feels very like it just feels nice to it's like just pleasing to sing the way that I I don't know how it's to therapeutic yeah like yeah. Just the flow of the melody just feels right kind of thing okay you know like Makes that sense. song has a lot of parts where it just like feels right you know mm-hmm. okay. All right. That's good. <laughs> uh, so where is your headspace at while you uh, were writing the single? So my headspace writing the single, um, honestly, so the meaning behind it, uh, like I described before, like the meaning of it. So it was just like I was in a situation where like I was just like in love with someone who really just saw me as a friend, mm-hmm. you know, and um, that was like what I was pushing out into the song. I had a friend of mine, uh, Jack Pettit, who sings for Ugly. He like helps co-write with lyrics and stuff along with uh, Chris, our producer. So like we'll sit in a circle and like hash out like all these different ideas and like kind of like put together a, like a song that really means something. Because mm-hmm. like personally with lyrics, it's like with me, I'll have like all these melodies and like lines in my head, but like, or like I'll write out these lines, but I don't have like a full on format of like, like everything based around it. You know, mm-hmm. I'll have like lines that really like describe the song but we have to build around it, you know? Okay. Yeah. It's like that part of the song is usually a uh, collaborative, like group effort in the studio. Solid. Uh, So how do you recommend your fans to listen to this single for the first time? Should they put it on the dark with some headphones on? Should they play it at a party? Should they work out to it? What do you guys recommend? Honestly, this is a pretty good workout song. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Uh, it's got some energy. but It's like not like, I feel like it's not like a pumping iron workout though. It's oh, like okay. a cardio, like, you know, yeah. you, get <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. you got like an 80s sweatband on or something. Like <laughs> mm-hmm. stuff. Right. Uh, it's definitely, I don't know. I, I could see it at a party too. You know, I could see definitely. some people dancing and getting down with it. I mean, I feel mm-hmm. like with a lot of our music, we want people to have fun with it at the end of the day. So whatever environment they're able to do that. And I think, you know, more power to them. All right. Uh, so I want you guys. No, fuck. Uh, so this, this, okay. This one no, be- I got it. Yeah. So this question should be super, super quick. Off the top of your head, I want you to describe the single for new listeners in three words. No more, no less. Both of you have to do it. Describe the new single in three words each. Yes. Each. <laughs> okay. Oh man, that's tough. Hmm. Okay, I'll go first so you don't steal anything. Okay. <laughs> that's your choice. Fun, colorful, Ooh. and. Sorry, and isn't the third one. Okay, good. <laughs> um, fun, colorful, and energetic, because we just cool. talked about that. Um, party rock anthem. <laughs> so true. So true. It's perfect. Uh, so is there a certain feeling or emotion you want this track to invoke in your listeners? Um. Honestly, the overall feeling, as much as like the lyrics kind of don't embody that all the way, um, musically, I kind of want it to give you a happy feeling, you know, Mm. like that's the whole point of this band in general is to write songs that even if like they're, you know, kind of about a little bit darker types of shit sometimes, not always, but when they are, even so the the music itself is going to put you in a positive mindset. Cause I'm used to like writing emo songs and sad songs. And I kind of really just want to stay away from that. And like, cause personally, I feel like it helps my mental health listening to songs that are just feel positive, you know, yeah. for sure. Uh, so what band or artists influence do you think you can hear the most on this track? Hmm. I think that's a question for you, but you his music taste is not like what the song sounds like. <laughs> at all. I can see, I feel like with our band, the vibes I get from it generally is kind of like 1975, like pop style. Like sometimes, I mean, not even really with this track so much, but like I think of bands that were big on like 95.5 when that was like a channel. Um, So like bands like Walk the Moon or like mm. stuff like that, like Two Door Cinema Club. That's, I love yeah. Walk the Moon. Yeah, that's Walk that's. So, yeah, I, I also have gotten a lot of uh, Angels and Airwaves comparisons for the single just because of, like, the way I sing, I guess. I'm not really a Tom DeLonge fan, but it's the whole uh, twang 
thing. Yeah. Fair enough. So Perfect. then what what bands do you listen to if you don't listen yeah. to the bands that <laughs> were just mentioned? Well, I do like the 1975 and like Walk the Moon's pretty dope. Like I like Walk the Moon's first album with like a like tightrope and like all that shit. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know. So uh, <laughs> I don't but <laughs> <laughs> so awkward Sorry. <laughs> no you're fine so i listen to a lot of old stuff um i kind of i mean i'm like, ben and i listen to a lot like he got me into a lot of rap stuff like mm. honestly but um i like uh old like motown kind of stuff like i love like a lot of the temptation like this past oh, year I've really got back into my old stuff like that mm. i used to listen to when i was like wicked little mm. so like you know, David Ruffin, The Temptations, uh, Jackie Wilson, um, Beatles, obviously, or like The Stones are like my favorite band in the world. I'm going to see The Rolling Stones in like less than two weeks. Oh, so, yeah. have fun. I'm yeah. wicked excited. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. um, like, you know, music like that, I guess. Uh, I, I want to like with the songs that aren't really out yet, um, you're going to hear like a little bit more of that kind of influence over time. I hope it's like of just like, I don't know, more soul kind of stuff. But Solid hell yeah i kind of want to like with this band i don't really want limitations and stuff either it's like writing songs where like our other songs don't really sound like this one you know mm-hmm. and it's like the new songs don't sound like these either it's like i, I want to be able to have like a song for everybody that you know what i mean yeah mm-hmm. someone can appreciate it that's what you said you said rap i just want to go into it for a second who, who do you listen to who do you guys listen to <laughs> um, I think that Andre 3000 is the greatest rapper of all time. I that's could, about, yeah, that's I could sit here for an hour and explain why, but I won't. Um, mm-hmm. but uh, no, I just love Outcast in general. I love Kendrick Lamar, I love Emmett <laughs> Doom, those are like some mm-hmm. of my favorites. Um, but I like over the past, like, I don't know how many years since probably like high school, I've been like super into hip hop, like, but I do like uh, a lot of old bands and a lot of like metal bands too. That's why I originally started listening to, um, uh, okay. but. Yeah, I definitely just like love <laughs> love hip hop all around. As you should taste. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. I I'm not as dedicated to the genre. <laughs> ben himself is actually a rapper. He he's a little humble, so he won't tell oh. you. But yeah, <laughs> he um. So uh, yeah. No, I mean I like Tyler the Creator. Like I like as more of, like yep. right. Uh, His new album is so. I like so a lot good. of like so more, like known like you know commercial artists. I guess. But okay that's fair i'm still like new to rap yeah that's fair what do you think of donda i thought donda was jail good. two <laughs> jail two that's my shit that's all oh my god okay. <laughs> anything uh, else i like yeah. it for the it one song <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's valid yeah that I thought was good. good i i want to give it some more time and see how i feel about it because mm-hmm. i've only listened through it a couple times so far but i did like it i thought it was like a solid album i wasn't like blown away on the first listen but i feel like with a lot of kanye's albums since like basically Jesus onward mm-hmm. like i have to listen to them like three or four times before i like appreciate them so i'll see if that happens with this one <laughs> okay that's valid i do it like two or three tries and it just like <laughs> Can't. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a commitment too because it's like an hour and a half. Yeah, it's a, Bro, it's a whole movie. Yeah, I don't have, oh. I don't have yeah. time for that shit. No, like, the mid ass album. Songs, the songs that are like version two, like Jail Two, yeah. it's the same mm-hmm. exact instrumental, same time length. It's just different. They got yeah. like some new features. And stuff. <laughs> yeah. it's... Anyways, it's sorry. Such an interesting man. Definitely. Such an interesting guy. Yeah. Oh yeah, the whole release uh, schedule that he had for it was uh, was definitely something. <laughs> It was definitely something. It was, yeah. I wish I could just put keep on putting things off, yeah. and also have millions of people watching. Exactly. Yeah, mm-hmm. that'd be good. Uh, so, <laughs> for this question, I want you to picture you're on tour. You're at a gas station. You're going in. What is your snack of choice? Snack of choice. Snack of choice. Sour Airheads. Hmm. Wow. Those you extreme you Airheads. Oh, I didn't yeah. know those existed. <laughs> the what? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. It's like I, the string sour. Oh mm. my god. There's no. Some... Do you Shane knows them? I, I know them. I haven't had them because I'm not a sour candy kind of guy, but I do frequent the convenience store. So Okay. Yeah. And I'd probably go with this is like super basic, but I'd probably go with goldfish, but like specifically mm. rainbow goldfish. Yep. I don't know why, but they taste better than the regular colors. <laughs> they like, do. I tell you why. They do. They put something in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We don't tell you they do, but they do. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, so where do you guys see the band in the next five years? Five years. Five years. Um. Well, 
the longest I've ever been in a band was six. So I'm, not, I'm like, we're already at uh, two. So, no, I'm just, so I, I'm, Ben's going to break up in four years. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So, I mean, honestly, five years, it's hard to say. Just because I don't like to even think about, like, where I'm at in five years. Yeah. So, uh, I hope that we're doing a little more than we are now. You know, I just want to play more shows, play bigger shows. And, you know, that's the main thing is just performing. That's like my favorite thing to do. You know? Yeah. For me, it's like my like ultimate goal would one day to be able to make like, if I was able to do music as a full-time job and make a living off it, like that would be probably my goal. I don't have to live lavishly, but like, I don't know if that's something we're able to accomplish with this band, whether it's five years, 10 years or however long, like, that would be my ultimate goal, personally. Make that money. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But in a wholesome way, you know, not in a sellout. Exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> not in a sellout way. Come not on, Not in Jake. a shallow way. Exactly, yeah. Uh, so for these last couple of questions, we're actually going to shift away from music, if that's okay with you two. Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go straight to death row. <gasps> Boom. So okay. if you're on death row, what would your last meal be with a drink? Our death. Oh, for a second, I thought you meant like the label. I was like, no, I think that we keep getting more that. Yeah. <laughs> no, we mean you're about to die. What would your last meal be? Uh, like, can we have anything or is it like prison food? Anything. Anything you want. Right. Prison food. That'd be so sad. Yeah, right? That'd be really gross. Mm. That's what it is. Oh. <laughs> uh, I feel like for me, man, I would want pizza in some form the best pizza i've ever had is from uh frank pepe's in um no not that one frank (laughs) pepe's in like uh, i think it's in like new haven connecticut so maybe that or i'd like to take a risk and have like pizza straight from like wherever the best pizza you can get in italy is that's been one of my like bucket list goals like is to have pizza from italy so i guess if that's the only chance to have it before i die i'd probably choose that and then for a drink I don't know. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> the drink. The drink. Uh, why do you think that I'd have a certain drink? Yeah. What do you think my drink would be? A monster. A monster? I do Ooh, like. Gonna be buzzed. That's not gonna be my last. <laughs> my last drink. They uh, won't even be able to kill you. If you yeah. Right. Up on caffeine. It's invincible. Um. <laughs> uh, I feel like. I don't know, man. I, I'm I'm torn between whether I want like a beer or like a soda or something. Like I feel like a beer would be like not as good with the pizza, you know? Like yeah. they're okay. So like I'll go with this soda that I had from this like candy place in New York. It's called like Dylan's Candy Bar or something. It's like this blueberry soda that was like super duper good, and I can't remember the name of it. So I'll go with that. Oh, <laughs> that sounds good. I think I still have the bottle somewhere in my room. I Anything blueberry, bro? Guess. Yeah. Immaculate. I'm probably gonna have a. I, I for a sec I was like ordering food like I was like I really like place my order I'm like I think I'm gonna so, <laughs> number five yeah no, no my last meal would definitely have to be a large half buffalo half barbecue chicken pizza with a side of ranch Ooh. you know with the side mm. they forget the ranch I don't want it you know yeah what? send it back yeah Which pizza place oh if I can choose the pizza place to uh damn that's really uh put me on this uh so like honestly I still have yet to find like my ultimate favorite pizza like i haven't like i'm still keeping my options open i don't want to say like, don't have to commit that. yet yeah. yeah you have time <laughs> but still like right that. now if i had to choose i would probably have to say um i don't know like i guess i guess kingston pizza what about mm-hmm. twisted twisted it i had it too much ah. so like the buffalo sauce killed it didn't sit yeah. well with me anymore oh, I... <laughs> it's weird like i don't know i just can't do their buffalo but yeah, the, the drink, a bottle of water. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Is it chilled or is it like room temperature or warm? It's chilled. I know it's not good for you to do that, but like that's honestly. I, <laughs> You're going to die anyway. Yeah, exactly. water, <laughs> I can't have it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the water like room temperature. No, thanks. Well, um, yeah. So if you could <laughs> live in one fiction world for a week, where would you live? One fiction world. Yes. Damn. I know exactly where I live. <laughs> Say it. You, I don't know if either of you guys watch anime, um, but there's an anime called One Piece, and that is the world mm-hmm. I live in. Okay. It's, 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 a, it's a wacky, whimsical pirate world. Today. It's the best way <laughs> I can describe it. Yeah. I kind of feel like, I mean, I don't really read or nothing, so like, I don't have a lot of options, <laughs> but like, 
Bikini Bottom would be pretty fun. Yes. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. It's just a very stress free area. Like, mm-hmm. there's no pressure. Unless you're Squidward. No. Yeah, you know. Yeah. You wouldn't be a Squidward. Mm-hmm. I just think I'd enjoy it, you know? Yeah. Like, I would just be ready every day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, definitely. Solid. All right. Solid. That's so, I have the honor of asking the last question. Every single person we've spoken to has actually said it is the most important question. What is your favorite color? Damn, that yeah. is important. Mm-hmm. That's pretty important. It is. I change my opinion daily on everything. So okay. like like this week, my favorite color is blue. Okay. Definitely. It's a good choice. Um, mine is green. I feel like we've picked the most basic color. <laughs> Specifically, uh, the green that I like is like the green lightsaber color from Star Wars. Like that Ooh. light green. That's uh, like a neon Our green. Uh, that's like a little ugly, but like I guess if we're getting particular, the blue that I really like is the blue like shade that Ben was in the music video. Mm-hmm. Like that shade of blue, like that's my favorite. All right. Uh, so as Glory said, that is all the questions we have today. <laughs> is there anything that you guys would like to plug? Anything we'd like to plug? Yeah. Um, so we uh, we have our music out on Spotify and Apple Music. And you can follow us at Sporting Band on Twitter, Instagram, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, my sister just walked in. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. What the suck you might have heard in the background. <laughs> But um, yeah, You're so good. we're on all socials and stuff. If anybody wants to email us about anything, it's the band sporting at gmail.com. You know, um, yeah, we're playing a show October 2nd at um, Paragon Boardwalk at uh, Nantasket Beach. It's like Hull, Massachusetts. Um, it's like a festival. We're playing at like 1 30 in the afternoon. Damn. So if anybody wants to come to that, we'll be there. And then October 30th, Halloween night, Sunday night, we're um, playing at Alchemy in Providence. Oh, yeah. we'll, do, we'll be playing with uh, Keem and um, uh, Cavalier, Eleanor and the Pretty Things. So, those are my dogs. Oh, first dog. oh. small dog coming down. Oh yeah. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Let me oh, see. Oh, oh, I'm putting a full screen. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> what is what is the dog's name? Her name is her name is Thea. Oh my god. We I love her. Here. Oh. Yeah. All right. Sorry. It's all good. Okay. Well, on that note, uh, thank you for now. This guy's been sporting, and we have been the Good Noise Podcast.